Imagine this. You walk into work and the camera above the door scans your face, opening them seamlessly without you lifting a finger. You sit down at your computer and it instantly unlocks. Oh, but you need to run to the pharmacy at lunch. You walk up to their camera and your prescription is deposited in front of you. After work, you go home, a camera blinks and the door unlocks as your hands touches the handle. You look at your face in the mirror and it tells you to moisturize. It even recommends that tomorrow you wear sunscreen and of course, it will order it for you from Amazon. Now imagine you walk down the street and a pair of policemen stare at you. Their body cameras flash red and they instantly pull their guns and tell you to drop to the ground. You're under arrest. You comply and after several days in jail, they let you know you were misidentified. Now, wherever you go, cameras that capture you will automatically increase the danger score of the area and alert police to watch out for you. Even worse, as you enter stores, the facial recognition system lets the staff know a recently arrested individual has entered their building. They stare suspiciously at you now. Doesn't sound good? Well, facial recognition systems already do all of these. In my opinion, it's time to take a step back and ask some necessary questions. Do we really want widespread facial recognition? What sensible legislation would ensure law enforcement don't abuse the technology? I believe we should prevent technology companies from infiltrating every aspect of our lives. If we don't, I fear the worst, because the truth is out there.